And then you can pass. <laughs> okay, well, whenever you're ready. Keep doing it. Okay. I did. That's why I want to do car wash. Because they were looking for, you know, there was one, there was one sister that they hadn't cast yet. I mean, she was, oh, but they wanted her in her 70s or 80s. But I have to play that because I did the granny and the and shit. And they wanted somebody that moved half her age and had really good comedic chops. And she didn't have to sing a whole lot. And I'm like, that's me. So they wanted a pop or a disco song. Do you believe that? And I'm like, car wash, car wash. And I had already learned car wash. I have a karaoke version, everything. I'm ready to go. Do you have to pull that thing back so that it looks like you don't have there? So when it goes up like that, it makes you look like a homeo sapien 400 BC. <laughs> My, I love this poem, The Horses Run. That That's was pretty. a good horsey step. I mean, I seem like it'd be something really with a lot of angst, that section. So the steps emotionally go with what I'm reading. It may or may not. Isn't that the goal? No, not necessarily. The, the, the goal is finding, finding the place where the dance and the words have an open communication and are working harmoniously. I shall do it as though the masses are in front of me. Okay. Deal? Rail against life, a poem. You can lay a rail, ride the rail, or rail against life. You can read your mail, look for a mail, wear mail if you're a knight. You can eat a grape, get the grail, or simply sit and gripe. You can turn on a light, drink Miller Lite, till you're drunk and you pick a fight. You can watch the weather or wonder whether she'll call or come by tonight. But the best is neither to wish or need her or hurt her just for spite. So long may you reign through sunshine and rain. Take your knocks, bark worse than you bite. For we win some, we lose some, together or lose some. Lock the door, turn the lights out. Good night. Play with the tone of your voice. You can lay a rail, ride the rail, or rail against life. You can read your mail, look for a mail, wear mail if you're a knight. You can eat a grape, get the grip, or simply sit and gripe. You can turn on a light, drink Miller Lite, till you're drunk and you pick a fight. You can watch the weather or wonder whether she'll call or come by tonight. But the best is never to wish or need her or hurt her just for spite. So long may you rain through sunshine and rain. Take your knocks, bark worse than you bite. But we win some, we lose some. Together or lonesome, lock the door, turn the lights out. Good night. The horses run. My lover left to leave me, just flying in an earthbound cloud of rock and ruin left behind. Like the dwindling train of wild horses as they wind, screeching into the distant sun, slithering on the ground. What awaits me now? My morning heart beats, clock, 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 it wildly stirs in my chest till I rush fully awake from my lover's arms in dreams. The sound of my heart in my ears like the hooves of the wild equines in the distance fading. Are they oblivious to the pain that awaits them? Their glistening bodies and muscles clenched, headlong, magnificent manes flying, they rush, heedless of the danger that awaits. A wild horse I ever watchful cannot save them. As blinded by desire, the blood of life rushing through their veins, they run on, their only goal to meet and mate one last time in the sun. All right. You want to tell them when we're doing it? Can you look down? No, no. Have they really corrupted you so that you think anything that's wrong or doesn't work is part of the <laughs> it's part of the project? They let you get away with that. Mm, you know, you no, I have to write a whole lot. I have to write a whole lot and justify what I'm doing. Because it's modern. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> if you're
feel like she probably already got it, right? Oh, yeah, I just said. Because it's modern. Because it's modern. Who decides what is good art? Did you ever wonder that? Sometimes I like to go to a gallery and never even read the tags. You know, just emotionally respond to it. Emotionally respond to it. I wonder if the people that decide what lasts and what is dismissed never put brushed to canvas. I'm a realist, I guess. My mind is such a jumble like realism. Doesn't have to be real. Real realism. I can do Dolly and Sargent. It's the modern abstract stuff that gets to me. I feel like I'm not smart enough to get it. If I want a picture with two eyeballs, a nose, and a mouth on the same side of somebody's face, I'll just channel the 70s. It freaks me out. It's still the same to me. What the hell does it mean? I think they're showing modern art and modern dance. It feels the same to me. What the hell does it mean? What are they doing? Why are they playing music if the dance doesn't go? I like some of the steps. It looks real hard. I'll give it that, but I get really tired really, really fast. But long pants and bare feet. Get up and go outside and the arms of a back in the 60s. Give me glamour. Good, cheap, over the top glamour. Now you've got my attention. If I want to see things that don't make sense, I'll get up and go outside every day. That's my favorite part. Why don't you give me a subject maybe it would be good to talk and then we'll see what we get. Maybe maybe we need something that's really maybe we need something that's really spontaneous. You know, like what subject would you like? Or you want me to read you this weird thing? I want you to talk about this. I don't know where to go with it. Let's see if I can think of where to start where to go with it. About having kids. Yeah, that's what that's fascinating. That's very fast. You're a natural. <laughs> ready? Let me just look for it. Like I am? No. You can do whatever you want, Lisa. Because it's your project. Though. It is my project, but it's a collaboration. It's our project. It's not just me. It's self-directed, but not directly. I saw this film one time. Okay, it was on PBS. And there are these little rats, and they've just given birth. Okay? Yeah, and this one mother rat, she picked up her little baby, she licked them all off, and she took them off to the corner, and she, she took her to the care of them. This other rat, they had the baby, she had the baby, but she never even looked at them. She just went to the other side of the box, she turned her head away from them, and so uh, I just felt like that was me. I just felt like, uh, oh shit, I don't have the good mother gene. So at least I didn't bring somebody on the planet that I couldn't take care of. I mean, um, did I want children? Uh, well, let's put it this way. I babysat one time and I called my mother to come get me. <laughs> it's true. It's true. And then the worst time was is I, I babysat for my girlfriend in, in um, New York. And she used to babysit all the time. And so this little kitty was hard to control. So I told him all about Jesus. At the time, I, I kind of liked Jesus. I, I thought maybe it would calm him down. And then the next night, his mother called me and told me that they were Jewish. Well, I, I didn't know that they didn't believe that. So I, did you know that? That they might not believe in Jesus. I didn't know that. What have you read? I have to read this, though it's fast. On breaking up. Where exactly are we going with this? I mean, where exactly is up? Some people say we broke down and we broke apart. When they separate, why not say we're brokering this? No, they say we're taking a break. Is this like an intermission? Do we have time for our pee break and refreshments? I thought separation was a time for contemplation, a kind of absence makes the heart grow fonder healing process. Unfortunately, I think it really means I'll be breaking in the next model and having breakfast with my lawyer as I break it down so I can go broke. Unfortunately. I think it really means I'm breaking I'm the next break model. To the dog model. I need to say I didn't get up. I think they broke down to Denny's because I refused to break down the book. It was Brokeback Mountain. Dog model. I need to say I always didn't thought get up. Brokeback came from carrying too much weight. Well, maybe that was the right time. Hmm. Funny. But there's going broke. That's probably closely related to breaking the part. What about breakdown? I've seen that happen to the best of people in automobiles, too, although it's usually a lot easier to fix an automobile than a side breakdown. I mean, I've seen pretty good toe from that, that one. Too, although and then there's that last confrontation, that last meeting of hope with that make it or break it attitude. An attitude which implies, you know, to have some evil, 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 ev
Well, so absolutely. Which, which implies, probably. you know, to have what he, he must have felt for you. You know how that turned out. You're just right. This makes me very dumb. Do you remember what your mother said that you need to put the brakes on? You're moving too fast. Something was wrong. But no, if I can't have that one, I'll be broken for the rest of my life. That's what you said. It is. I heard you. Well, you probably got that part right. Don't feel bad. I dated a break dancer that broke me so far down I had to get new break pads. Just until I could break back, which means living in a gay friend's apartment until you can break back against all odds. So, since the breakup that broke you down, broke you apart, so you had to take a break from breaking your next one in, who was with the one who had made a break for it to Denny's, having breakfast as you went broke by breaking it down to the lawyer because you wouldn't put the brakes on, even after hearing that the break dancer and the break down that ensued that makes you think of breaking into the break pad of your broke back friends. Just to take a break until you can make it or break it just one more time before you break back. Hang up, go down, get up, break it, break out, and break up way up in the sky over here. Way up in the ring through. Break all the way. Be back after the break. I wrote that. That's good. Thank you. I'm not scared. I've been to the mountain. Jesus. <laughs> what are they doing over there? They're setting up bombs. <laughs> All we need is hair under the arms, and we're back in the '60s. No, don't. What? <laughs> yeah, or put your own hair. Your own hair would flop right in there. <laughs> That's it. And put the yeah, put, and then put your arm down and let you stick out the front. <laughs> we can zoom in on that one. <laughs> Yep, we're a pair. Yeah, I have a ton of stories. I decided finally to write them down. I don't know what to do them, but I, I really like writing. Amusing. So sit back and let me tell you some stories.